fine. You see it. Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 1 Top Plays. It's the third episode in this special little series where I'm taking a look at the best clips that I've had sent in from each Battlefield game over the past three years, four years, it's been quite a long time. This one of course is going to be focused on Battlefield 1. We've seen an epic clip to start us out and now on to one of my favourites that came from a very early episode I seem to remember and I'm not even sure the owner sent this in, it might have been a fan of their channel sent it in just incredible on Amion driving around the side here at the start of a game oh yes it's the entire enemy team we might as well road kill all of them in one of the most epic and unfortunate if you're on the enemy team very unfortunate clips that I've seen on Battlefield 1 look at that point stack nearly 3,000 points purely in kills incredible Moving on, it's Scradwig, and this clip came from an episode way back that was entitled The Perfect Lineup. This is exactly what you want. The M1907 SL Sweeper, he has just enough bullets for the ultimate kill feed. Slorksan is next. Check out this for an incredibly lucky and well-timed tripwire bomb. Enders sent in some superb clips way back in the Battlefield 1 days, two of which I'm going to show you now. Look at this for the ultimate one-man army sniping clip. A lot on butter. Tell you all on that barn. One more. You got him. Oh, baby. Here's a treat for you, Ender. Get him out of here. We have lost objective Edward. Along with the plane gunner too, just get him out of here. Sniped him right out of there. And the second is just perfect aim on Foul Fortress. That's Max's mad noise. Max Zeke is a well-known Battlefield 1 player. BF5 is what he plays these days, but back in the days of BF1, he was a god. Look at that, for a quad with one bullet, using the Martini Henry, never seen it before. Watch it again in slow motion. Voodoo Bias did send in one of the luckiest clips I've ever seen on Battlefield 1, playing on Ballroom Blitz, he's just firing shots through this doorway here, hoping to maybe connect with an enemy player, but through the smoke, he hits something, maybe it's a collateral, maybe he actually hits an explosive, I'm not certain, but I think that is 7 or 8 kills with one single shot. Neon sent in some epic clips, and this was probably my favourite, throwing the anti-tank grenade and taking out two planes in one. We've seen him do it on Battlefield 5 as well. Really quite impressive. Regiment's Führer is next. Battlefield 1 had these behemoths, and if you were lucky enough, you could take one down. But doing it like this was just unheard of. Captain Kirk's 94 got one of the luckiest clips I've seen in the Battlefield top plays, not just in BF1, but in any clip. He gets a triple. The first two players get taken down right in front of him, but the third is standing all the way back on Alpha Objective, I think, and they just catch the random bullet in the face, making it a triple. 
Speaking of triples, Metal Slug sent in one of my favourite clips. This one was using, of course, the 8.35, one of the most difficult to use but rewarding weapons in the Medic class, and then Lord Obrez. Oh, 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 was that a triple? Oh my god, dude! What just happened? Picking up that triple was something that everyone loves to see. He's stuck, he's in a trench, he's got absolutely nowhere to go. He peeks the corner and takes out all three of those enemies alongside a few more in that kill streak. Umar Kings sent in this sniping feed using the M1903 sniper, playing on Cape Hells. All of these players in their boats just on the edge of the map. Not a good place to be sitting when Umar is nearby with a sniper. M -Burger. Not today. As we did in the Battlefield 4 Top Play special episode, we're going to see a clip from Alaboy towards the end of this episode. He's doing something that we've never seen before on the Battlefield 1 Top Plays, although if you watched the episode, you probably saw this clip, you know what I mean. This is just out of this world, how you can think of even doing something like this. His teammates, his squad mates, land this bomber on the ground for him. He jumps on the top of it. All of them then take off in pursuit of an enemy plane using this flame trooper kit to take them out. And to finish off today's episode, what I think was probably the most cinematic clip of all time, it's Tomaha sniping the pilot out of his plane with the label as the behemoth burns to death in front of him and then two planes crash just afterwards. That sums up Battlefield 1. So thanks for watching, I really appreciate you guys hanging around the channel getting us to 150,000 or actually over 150,000 subscribers at this point. Amazing stuff, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.